Okay, so we can't figure out exactly why it's not coming on. So we took the 1050 out and we put a 1070 in and we're still getting a black screen. The fan and the lights, everything comes on. The keyboard does not come on though. So we've tried switching the graphics card. We've tried switching hard drives. The, the next thing that we're going to try is going with a different CPU and this CPU has built-in graphics in it. So that way we can bypass the graphics card itself. Because what I gotta do is I gotta get into the computer and I gotta get it to tell it. I have to like let it know, hey, I'm gonna put all this stuff in you and I need you to read it. So the next step is, is this off, this is off. The next step we're gonna do is remove the GP or the, the CPU and then we're going to replace the CPU with a different one hopefully we will get somewhere okay so I went to remove the CPU cooler and look what happened the CPU came out of the socket that means that it was not in the socket to begin with Good job, Mr. Donald. Good fucking job, Mr. A Tech PC's professional moron. Now we got to. Oh my god. Fucking idiot, dude. I can't believe I did that. Okay, so we still can't get it on. And we're thinking about on Reddit, it says to short the CLRTC pins out to try to clear it and we're still not getting any signal so don't do it turn it off turn it off first we're just gonna power cord then we're gonna do what it says okay so pull okay. disconnect the power cord yeah okay then touch it okay let me see it says for how long okay let's see what we got going on I'm sure being in here and with the weather, it doesn't help with the signal. If you were to probably scoot around the corner, you'd probably get a better signal. Like if you were to walk toward the door or something. Because we're not getting any lights on the keyboard either. Use a metal object to screw to short the two pins. Got it. Okay, it says to short it. It just, it doesn't say for how long, so just short it. So just, you know, touch them together for like five, ten seconds. But it said with no power to it? Yep. What is this? Alright, so All right. we That's shorted good. it. Plug it back in. Alright, so now I gotta short the pins again to turn it on. Well, not those, but the other ones. These. Okay. And there it is. That came on. But we're still not getting any lights to the keyboard. Nothing. We're saying you won't get lights to the keyboard until you get into the BIOS. Until you get into it, huh? Until it boots? Is that what they were yeah. saying? So some, I seen somewhere. And then it said also about the RAM needs to be in slot two. Should we yeah. try slot four? We can try slot four. All right. Let's try slot four. Once you turn it off, and then we'll go to slot four on the RAM and see if that makes a difference. Here. There you go. Push it all the way in until it clicks. There it goes. It clicked. Yep, it's seated. All right. Turn it on. Turn it on. Say so keyboard lights up, but that's all it does. Okay, that's on. Getting a signal. See, everything else is lit. It's coming on, but we're we're not. It's like it's like we don't even have the HDMI plug or something plugged in. And according to Reddit, there's about a thousand other people that are dealing with this same issue. So it's the fucking motherboard that's causing this issue. 
And we need to fucking figure out why. Everything works, we're just not getting it to talk right. So we gotta figure out how to get it to talk right with it. So I guess I can try, we'll, tr we'll try going back to HDMI real quick and see if we can't maybe get it to kick and we'll go from there. Um, but we've tried everything. We've tried new CPU, brand new CPU, and it has built-in graphics, um, which is something that we tried to do without the graphics card. And we could we just we couldn't get nothing to boot. So and we tried a different graphics card, nothing. Still nothing. Yeah, turn it off and then back on to get it to reset. Okay. Okay. Power back on, power's on. Wait, hang on. Okay. I'm gonna try clearing it. The CRT. You don't think it's a good idea? I don't think so. They said to unplug the cord from the power. Really? Yeah. I see. I've never heard about playing with that CRT thing. Yeah. That's why I'm not sure of it. Yeah. But we'll tr we'll try it. Technically, this is your equipment, so you say not to do it. I don't yeah. want to do it. There it goes. Okay. So what we ended up doing is I had to go back into my room and pull my system out. Uh, we're we're trying to do process of elimination. Let me see. We're trying to do process of elimination. So we check the hard drive, it boots. We check the graphics card, it works. Now we've pulled the CPU out and put the CPU in and we're gonna see if we can get it to function because now we're thinking that it's the motherboard. The motherboard has to be the issue because everything else is, is checking out so far. So we're gonna continue with what we're doing and see if where we where we end up when the dust settles so yeah be back with you guys in a few minutes make sure to drop a like and here you go you can have that back everything's plugged in let's uh turn power on keyboard comes on that's coming on all righty let's go over here and hit the magic switch whoops oh we don't let that it's, hold on, it's the, it's the fan. Yes, this little cord, little wire over here got sucked up into the mess. Maybe I can just kind of yeah, put it like there. that just for the yeah. time being. Right. Okay, go ahead and give it a flop. Alright, back on. Now, if give it a second, it should boot. Because we're not this is this CPU has built in graphics. So we're trying to see if we can get it to boot without the graphics card. It might take it a second. There it goes, keyboard came on. That's a good sign. That went blue. Boom, it's working. Okay, so graphics card works. Hard drive works. And the CPU works. So that tells us it is the motherboard. There is something going on with the mother. Because we tried the CPU, perfect. We tried everything else. Maybe something got into the socket. We need to look in there, see if there's any dirt, debris, anything, blow it out, something. Because there might be some dust in it. Because we're booting off of your drive and that drive is working. You would have to look at it at an angle because this, this slat works sideways. So you would have to close the slat and then look in there real good and see if you see anything. Um, and then move the slat back and forth to try to work with your eyes to see if you catch. Because what you're looking for is you're looking for all that shininess, all the little gold spots down there. And if you don't see one, you'll they'll, they'll be like a smudge on it. Hopefully thermal paste didn't get it. So I mean, it's, it's coming on, but we're just, man. This is getting crazy. All right. Um, the next thing that we can do now, since we confirmed that all of the hardware works, we need to start putting it back in the other board piece by piece and doing different. We're going to try a different RAM. We'll try a different RAM. We'll try my RAM because my RAM. Oh, we didn't try your RAM. Sure. Let's turn the system off. Put your RAM in and see if we get it back into the system. Okay, that's what we'll do next. All right, we'll turn that off. 
So, what do you think, man? Motherboard. It's the motherboard. Yep. We've, we've tried everything. We even brought out the other system to see if that would work. Um, we're just going to have to get another motherboard and then put it, he, he'll get the board. I'm going to let him borrow the CPU while I fix the other CPU. Where is the other CPU? It's, it was on that box. <laughs> it was on the cardboard box. Oh, it's right there. I said it right there. Okay. Cool. We're good. We're good. Woo. Okay. All right. So, all right. So he's going to take my Athel along with him. And then see about getting another board. Once he gets the other board, he'll bring it back over and we will try to figure out what is going on with it. Um, so yeah, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel. As always, you guys be cool and thank you for watching. We'll see y'all next time on A Tech PCs. Dun dun dun. Damn, man, I'm sorry, bro. I don't that that's a working board. I don't know why it's not working. I, I, I'm out of questions. Although I, if you, when we get another board, uh, I'd like to have this one back so I can diagnose it. I got a program that I can hook to it and what it does. Actually, you wanna, you wanna see what I'm talking about? Here, I'll show it to you real quick. You might actually like this. This is a pretty cool little thing. Here, I'll show it to you real quick. Check this out. See, it's a PC analyzer. Oh, that's cool. What it does is you plug it in. See how it has different sizes uh -huh. on it? You plug it into the board into different chambers. You even have one for the RAM. And you hook it up to it and it modulates. And what it does is it gives you a code, right? It'll read out a code. Then you use this thing, look up what the code is, and it will tell you exactly what's wrong. It'll give you a detail. It'll tell you that this capacitor is burnt out on it. Like it'll give you a real good detailed readout. Sure. It's called PC Analyzer. It's a, it's a really nice tool to have, um, especially if you if you never work with one. And then, whenever we're trying to diagnose hard drives, that's what this is for. This will diagnose your hard drive and tell us what's wrong with it, if there's anything wrong with it. But we've determined that there is nothing wrong with your hard drive. So. So everything I've sold you is good except for the fucking board, which pisses me off. Because if I would have known that, I wouldn't have fucking sold it to you. It's a little rough. Sorry. No, that happens. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, but we'll go. We'll, we'll help you out. I think I'll make up for it in service for you. Mm -hmm. So it's pouring ass rain. Yeah. All right. We'll cut it from there.